Hi, I'm Mel from Two Sleepy Heads, and I hope your day is going great because today we're going to show you how to create this flower 3D design in Adobe Illustrator that a lot of you guys were asking us to do a tutorial on based on our TikTok video. So, let's go! Okay, first up, we have already created a gradient background. If you want to learn how to do a gradient background, you can check out our other videos. We do a lot of gradient mesh videos in our other tutorials, so you can check that out. So, now we're creating the flower vase shape using shapes such as the eclipse tool, the rectangle to create different shapes to pathfind them together to create an object but of course there are many many ways to create shapes and uh, whatever shapes you want to create you can explore in Adobe Illustrator so this is not the perfect way but this is what we're gonna use so make them pathfind them into one okay so now we're gonna change the color so how we're going to inflate this flower vase right we need to actually cut them into two into half so that we can do a revolve using the 3d tool so now i use the scissors tool and actually cut the one side of it away delete it okay so now i have half of this flower vase and i'm gonna create a rectangle at the front so that there's a little bit of texture to this flower vase and when we do the revolve a little bit of pattern of course it's the most basic thing you're doing you can add like other designs faces smiley faces okay so now you select everything and revolve change the direction to the right edge and increase the offset so now it becomes the face itself so you can see how if you shift the revolve angle you can see how it opens up it will shift the offset better and becomes bigger or smaller of course you can change the lighting as well um, to see the 3D effect and as well as the base properties which is the metallic and the roughness of it to make it look more realistic you can see there's a shine of the light on it and it looks pretty good so this is how the flower base looks like um, be sure to know that sometimes using these two in illustrator can be a little bit laggy on your computer so be careful of that now we're going to create the flowers so Let's just create this eclipse shape and duplicate and shift it. Of course, there's like other ways, we're just doing the quickest way and then make them to one shape. So, this is the flower petals, and you also need the one in the middle. So, let's create that. This is a very, very basic way to draw flowers. Yeah, we are showing you this is like what we do in like when we are toddlers, but super cute so yeah just click inflate button when you select the flowers and yeah it looks like a 3d flowers just a that so this is pretty good so now you can duplicate the flowers and change the color of the flowers duplicate it shift it in front so that it has like the overlay effect so now we have three flowers looks pretty cute should we have more I think that's it let's draw the flower stalk so we need this flower stalk to be shifted so let's use the stroke increase the stroke expand it so that it becomes an object and inflate it again so inflate is the best tool that we use you can use revolve you can use inflate um, maybe we use revolve for this so that it, the whole thing goes okay let's use revolve for this and offset 10 shift to 10 material so they can go to properties and change the metallic and roughness to match the flowers <laughs> this is how it looks like of course it's not the best but we're just doing a very quick way to shift the design so you can shift the, you change the lighting of the flowers if you want so that the shadow looks like it's coming from the correct side you can change the volume of that so that the flowers look flatter around the so make sure you click um, inflate both sides so that the other side is also like inflated so this inflate both sides is actually a new tool that they added which is pretty cool can I change the color of the stalk of course you need the flowers to be on top of the stalk so that it covers 
but this is not the perfect way to draw the flower stalk because the flower stalk you know, has uh, like a slanted shape but this is just a very abstract paper flower that we are doing 3D paper flower in a vase super cute it should be green not brown sorry about that okay let's, let's duplicate the stalk for the flowers so if you like what you're seeing remember to hit the like and subscribe button so that you can see more of such videos Alright, this flower, let's make it taller so that we can shift it in front. Yeah, so this vase has three flowers. So of course, we have to adjust this and also it looks very weird because it's not really inside the flower vase. I think the quickest way to hide this, not the best way, but the quickest way is to draw a shape around it, the curve, draw the curve, and then we might just clip mask it away. I think that would be the quickest way. Let's just adjust the flowers first. Okay, now use the pen to and draw this curve so it ends um, nicely at the base. Of course, it's not perfect, but you know what I mean. Yes, yeah, so we're just trying to clip away the excess of the flower stalk so that it looks like sitting inside the flower base. So this is a really, really quick way to do it. So, clear everything, including flower stalk, common seven to clip mask, and there you go. It looks like it's inside the flower base. Of course, you have no more time, you can add like other more flowers or like leaves. And just very simple, you either use the revolve tool or the inflate tool and then you'll have this 3D effect on it. So remember to render it at the end. Now let's create a shadow for the flower base. So that doesn't look like it's floating, right? Let's create a darker colored background so that it looks like it's sitting on the floor with a little bit of shadow. So this is it. This is how it looks like. I think it looks pretty cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Alright, thank you so much for watching. We hope that your day is looking a little bit brighter with this flower tutorial. And remember to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and also visit our website if you need any creative services. Maybe you need to repackage your brand, packaging design, social media, website. Do hit us up, drop us a DM, or send us an email. And also, you can actually find some Canva templates on our website as well that you can use for your social media if you are like on a tight budget. So that those are pretty easy to use and pretty easy to change. And that's all. So thank you so much for watching once again. Do hit the like and subscribe button if you want us to continue doing such videos for you. And if you have any ideas of what we should do next, you can also comment in the comment section below. Alright, till next time. Bye.